Good evening everybody, Joshua McGraw from Doppler Interactive uh, coming at you this fine Friday evening again with a tidy tile mapper tutorial. Uh, this evening we're going to be looking at uh, top-down maps in tidy tile mapper, uh, the orientation of blocks, creating your blocks and uh, painting, all sorts of things like that. Uh, so fantastic in Unity right now. Uh, I've imported Tidy Tile Pack, which is our new package on the asset store, containing what 15 new blocks for Tidy Tile Mapper. Uh, a ton of variations and such. This is one of my favorites, the uh, dark gray block, and uh, I've brought it in and gussied it up a little bit so it will work for our demonstration here. I'll go ahead and select one of them. As you can see, I've uh, taken the block and uh, stuck a few flames on it. These are the flames that come by default with Unity in the particles package. Uh, I'm trying to give the you know, impression of torches for, say, a dungeon or something, uh, just to pretty it up a bit. So as you can see, I've got, what, eight variations here? Uh, and I've gone ahead and put some torches on uh, a few different sides, so, you know, the three here, the three there, um, and an empty block. These are represent a few of the orientations uh, that we wish to put in our block editor, which I will show you right now. Um, so the workflow here was bring the blocks into Unity, um, put whatever modifications you desire on them, give them a name so it's very easy to find them later, and uh, I went ahead and made prefab, stuck them in this torch rock folder. So all pretty straightforward there. So if we go ahead and open up our block editor now, uh, this is all tidy tile back here as you can see, there's a ton of beautiful blocks for you. Uh, right down the bottom we've got the block I just created, our torch block. Um, let's have a look at this icon here and what it means for a top-down map. Now, on the usual platforming map, uh, the red here represents the block we're thinking about, uh, white represents emptiness or air or anything like that, and grey represents other blocks. So if we look at this one here, this is a block that is sitting in the middle of nowhere uh, with nothing around it, and this is a block that is completely surrounded by other blocks. Um, so for example, this may have grass on top, this may have nothing but just soil, maybe some roots. Now when this is a top-down map, however, this changes a little bit. It's still uh, that same philosophy, um, but up in the icon is no longer up uh, in the air. It's not up on the y-axis. Uh, it's actually backward on the x-axis. So uh, if we think about uh, this as, as our map, a very small map here, um, we're going down the y and across the x. So, uh, you know, 0, 1, 2, and such. Uh, we'll paint the map and you'll you'll come to terms with what that means for uh, our orientations in a little. I'm going to show you the makeup of this block here. Um, for center alone we've got uh, a usual block with uh, torches all around. I'll actually show you in the scene. It's right there. And we also have a, a single alone block, just to mix it up a bit. You don't want a billion torches going on. Um, what I've done is marked this alone block as default so that all the other things here we don't have to occupy with blocks. They'll always be uh, alone. Um, and that's really it. I've put these other blocks into our orientations here uh, where they make sense. And uh, let's go ahead and paint up a map. So, as I said, I may not have said, uh, I've resized this block. It's usually one by one by one. I've made it three by three by three uh, just to fit in with a particle. So, we're going to go ahead and make a slightly bigger map than we usually would. We'll call it Dungeon. And in our advanced settings here, we'll go three, 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 and pick a growth axis of forward. Excellent. So here is our little block. I'm going to go ahead and uh, move all these other blocks out of the way. Excellent. Let's get to painting. Um, so as usual, we'll just... Uh, we don't have to select anything there. Grab our empty blocks and sort of puff out an area on which to paint the map. I think uh, that's probably big enough there. And uh, we'll go down to our swatches here. We'll select the torch block we just created. And I'm going to hit randomize because it's much nicer. Excellent. And then... Uh, First, let us make the camera in a nice sort of spot so we get a good idea of what's going on. Beautiful. Let us paint. So as you can see, or maybe not, the uh, gizmos in our scene are indicating that we're, we've got our orientations going correctly. I'm just going to sort of paint out a little bit to get that nice dungeony feeling. You may notice in the game view down there we don't have working blocks in our uh, game preview, which is a new addition uh, in one of the more recent releases of Tidy Tile Mapper. Um, my paint random is meaning that not all these blocks are going to have uh, have lights on them, which is a good thing because it would be quite garish. I'm going to hit cycle here. This is a tool I don't often use. And I'm going to right click on these blocks to remove some of these lights because quite a few of 
made their way into our scene via random and I think it's just a bit too many so by right clicking you're actually cycling through the variations on a block in this case it's cycling through uh, no lights and some lights excellent that's really the sum of it and uh, just to be ultra fancy I'm going to go to our tidy tile mapper I'm going to go to our helpful primitives uh, folder here grab the upward plane and uh, parent that to our map let's have a look where that bad boy is not really sure. And I'm going to make it very big. There we go. It's obviously got a rotation on it somewhere. Probably even bigger than that. Beautiful. Just going to put a little bit of a floor in our dungeon. A uh, little platform on which to put our treasure or whatever else you find in a dungeon. Angry slime. I've been playing a lot of Terraria, people. It's very good. I'm enjoying it quite a lot. And uh, I'm going to pop a texture on that bad boy. Fix our tiling there. And uh, darken it up. Sort of vaguely something there. It wasn't designed to go with this map. It's just something that we've got lying around. Excellent. Bring our camera in a little bit closer. And uh, let's go ahead and ding play. Excellent. And as you can see, everything is on fire. It's some sort of hellish landscape. Um, if we go ahead and pause that bad boy. Let's make it even more hellish. We'll just make it a vaguely red sky. And uh, turn off our maximize there. So beautiful. That's really. Uh, all I wanted to show you this evening, that's orientations in a uh, top-down map in Tidy Tile Mapper. Um, hopefully that's been a little bit helpful for you and uh, you know, you're know you full of uh, inspiration to create your own top-down maps. Um, excellent, well do feel free to leave a comment or catch me on Twitter if you want to know anything more about Tidy Tile Mapper or orientations or such. This has been Joshua McGraw from Doppler Interactive bringing you Tidy Tile Mapper oh, and Tidy Tile Pack and uh, all of that deliciousness.